Hello and welcome back. My name is Amulya and you are watching Tube Mint. And this is fourth video in the series of Learn Django 3 by building a blogging application. And in this video, I'm going to show you how you can start styling your application, the blogging application that we created in the very first video. How you can start styling that particular application with bootstrap that we added in the previous video so in the previous video I showed you how you can add bootstrap locally in your project and also with CDN as well now you can they can go like CDN and local bootstrap can go hand in hand but in this project I am going to use bootstrap locally on the system so you can see I uh, downloaded bootstrap in this static folder and kept that bootstrap CSS and JavaScript here in the dist folder and let me quickly go ahead and show you how I have added uh, linked those JavaScript and CSS bootstrap CSS and JavaScript files to this application so you can see I'm loading this uh, bootstrap min dot css grid min css reboot min css all the minified versions of css and javascript okay and i'm also linking to one, uh, one custom css dot a css uh, custom dot css file from this custom folder from static folder and i'm also linking to this custom dot js file which is from custom folder all right so that's how i am linking to bootstrap css and javascript files now if you come back to this application and this is what we are going to basically style so you can see uh, this is bootstrap home page i've got nav, nav bar and then few cards to display our list basically article list and this is Kind of super responsive let me go ahead and show you how I styled it and how you can style it so let's go ahead and do it now what I'm going to do I'm going to remove all the styles and quickly go ahead and show you how you can do it so everything is in here I'm not I haven't styled the single dot HTML and I'm going to quickly show you how you can do that as well so I'm going to remove all the classes the bootstrap classes now once everything is removed you can see how it looks like it still has this nav and which is uh, in here in base.html so I'm going to remove the navigation the header and I'm also going to remove these two divs around the block the content block so I've got everything like this like you have from the previous previous video so few articles have been added just to dis make a bit of content to display and style uh, one more thing I've done on this uh, index.html I'm truncating the article so you can see here this is basically um, Jinja Jinja filter for Django template and when you say let's say you want to truncate you only want to display 50 words in the list so you will simply have to say just type the pipe and type the truncates and column and then number that you want to truncate at so that's the number I've given so you can see here and I think I've added this uh, read more as well so you can see it here how I added it so basically created anchor tag type the text that I'm going to display so read more and then URL to single uh, name and then ID particular ID okay 
which I've taken from he here. Yeah. All right. So that's everything has been explained. What exactly the changes I've made here on this project. Now let's go ahead and style the application. So blogging application. So very first thing what I'm going to do, I'm going to create a container div and raw div around this uh, this content block. Before that, we definitely want to add a navigation bar. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to create a header tag here. This is going to be a little bit semantic, and I'm going to take this uh, nav bar from bootstrap so simply go ahead and say nav bar here it is and pick the right one for your application i'm going to go back to the very responsive things here at the bottom and text nav bar color schemes containers, placements, responsive behavior. Okay, so let's go ahead and copy this one. I'm going to put this in the header that I just created. And there are a few things that I want to change here. So if you come back here and refresh it, go on top, you can see you got the navigation working but these links are not working you can see so what I'm going to do I'm going to change two links here one for the logo and the other for the home so these are going to be the index name that we are pulling from this applications views uh, not these URLs these are the this is the name that we are referring here in base.html for URL tag now if you go ahead and refresh it click here you will be on the home page similarly okay so navigation is working now let's quickly go ahead and create two divs around this content block this is going to be applicable on index.html and single.html as well. So I'm going to say container and uh, another is going to be raw. And in here, I'm just going to put this block. One more thing uh, I want within this uh, raw div, I want to give a uh, margin top 3 rem now if I go ahead and refresh it you can see something just happened but the content shifted to this towards right for whatever reason we will fix that now what I'm going to do close everything and open this uh, index.html okay so we are going to style it now so I'm going to use card component from this uh, uh, bootstrap so here we are you can go ahead and pick the right one for you from this page but I'm going to use very the uh, where the first one which is here uh, this one okay so this is what I'm going to use everything so card and I'm going to use a very important thing which is here style card image top card body card title card text and then buttons okay so come back here and I'm going to say create a class card now if you just go ahead and save it and come here it's not working why, uh, why? just let's refresh it because we are on the single page okay 
now here you can see the card okay this been applied to every post now I want to give it uh, custom 18 rem width now this will make a little bit of change here you can see everything is like that there's one more thing that I want to give simply say card body and this will create something like that okay so it this will make it super responsive just put the card body then I'm going to say column so let's see what happens okay so uh, that seems to be working now what I want to do I want to give it a margin of uh, two around like up right left whatever it is right left up and down and then what I want to do uh, this is basically the title I uh, also need padding of three so that enough room can be given to each uh, element in here now with the image I'm going to give, give it a class so going to be card image card IMG you can give it top bottom if you want to keep it on top okay you can see the image height is basically not it doesn't look good so what I'm going to do I'm going to give it a class index here and style the specific like all the images within this index class so I've already given this you can see index then I'm targeting image and I given max height of 174 which is the minimum height of this image now uh, this looks amazing you can see so this is how I styled it now let's quickly go ahead and uh, you can say it if you want to style it like card text put it in a class but I don't think that makes a lot of change here observe it yeah a little bit of padding I guess um, and this is going to be card title let's see if any change a little bit of padding okay so spacing now here I want to style this button so this is the button class is going to be button and button primary and that's all I've done guys for this so you can see it's been styled now if I go on single page this need a little bit of styling so I'm going to do so go to single dot HTML and I'm going to put everything in one div so I'm going to say card and put like this just refresh it you can see it here one thing I can do here I can give padding of four because this is a single page and we want more space here uh, to this um, text I want to give uh, margin right of five and margin left uh, margin left of five okay so okay this also requires let's give just margin of 
10 so this will be around no it's not working so margin top is going to be 5 perfect then we want to give margin right 5 refresh it okay so right that's the right the margin left right is going to be like yeah so okay so look select a different so that's how I have styled it uh, you can style it the way you want uh, this to me looks just perfectly fine if you have any questions suggestion please leave in the comment I really appreciate it if if you have any question I will try to answer it as soon as possible thank you for watching the video please like share and subscribe to my channel and have a good day bye for now